guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Stacey, creator at Mother Naked. If you want to follow me on Instagram, please do. It's at Mother Naked Candles. If you want to visit my store, my website, this is different, is www.mothernakedcandles.com. And if you're interested in my weight loss and pregnancy journey, then please go and subscribe to and follow at Trying to Be a Mama at YouTube and Instagram. So today, how to know what size candle wick to use. I myself had some issue with this recently, so I know how important it is to get this right. When a candle is properly wicked, I suppose, uh, it creates an even burn, no candle tunneling. It burns cleaner and gives a really great scent throw. There are a few ways to know that you have the wrong size wick for your container. One, if it only takes like an hour to get to the sides of your glass and it's like a half an inch to an inch gone, uh, then it is burning too quickly and you should change wicks like now. Also, it's getting too hot, your glass or your container cracking. Uh, so just be mindful if it's doing that, uh, take that out and go size lower straight off the bat. Two, if the flame of your candle is over an inch, uh, then you probably want to move down uh, a wick size. Three, too big a wick can cause mushrooming. Uh, so if you've left it on for three, four hours uh, of its burn time, which you're supposed to do, uh, which is kind of it the wick kind of goes back on itself and it's like this build up of black burn Blech. so again just be mindful of that uh, and go down a size in the wick also wisps of black soot will come off your candle uh, if it's too big as well and if you left it alone and more than four hours if you've got too big a wick um, that kind of black soot will start forming uh, around your container Four, if you're using too small a wick, it's as simple as if it's not, if, if, you've, if your candle's been on for three to four hours and it's not reached the edge of your glass, uh, then you need to go up a wick size. Uh, with a small wick as well, your candle might extinguish itself even before it gets to that four hour burn mark. Um, so yeah, just go up a size in wick. You want it so after two to three hours, your candle has a good flame size, so below an inch. If you're using a cotton wick or an eco wick or something like that, you're looking for the candle flame not to flicker that much. But with me, I'm using a ribbon wick and they do flicker. Uh, so if you're using a ribbon wick, please ignore this little bar. And after two or three hours, you want the melt pool to have touched the sides of your container, obviously, but at least a half an inch melt pool as well. And this just means that your wick is burning clearly without any like carbon buildup. But for me, it's easy. Uh, ribbon wicks, you use small, medium and large. And the rule of thumb is use a small wick if your container uh, diameter is two to three inches. Use a medium wick if it's three to 3.5 uh, inches wide. And use a large wick for 3.5 to four inches wide. My candle jar is of course between the medium and large wick. So I used the large wick first and I had awful trouble with it burning too fast and getting too hot. Now I've changed to a medium wick. It burns absolutely perfectly. The burn time is on point. Uh, it burns evenly, no tunneling. Uh, it's just really, really good. So literally, if you're having problems um, with anything that I listed below, either go up or down a size in wick. So I just say look at what your candle supplier uh, for your wicks uh, a saying on their website because they will have that kind of information on there what wick to use for your candle size and if you're like me and it's between two different size wicks to get them both and test them side by side uh, that's what I did and watch them burn and see which you like the burn of and whichever burns the most effectively is the one you use it's so important to get your candle wick right uh, so just be patient and experiment uh, because you will be better off for it. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you've not subscribed already. Please like this video if you've liked it. And thank you so much. Mwah!